Wally Lewis leading them out here at Lang Park, trying to make it five in a row for the Broncos and to stay on top of that Winfield Cup table. And Parramatta, I guess they'll have more support in Sydney today than they've had for a long time because uh, everybody wants to see somebody beat the Broncos. Today it's Parramatta. Can they do it? They've brought plenty of supporters to Lang Park with them and some who aren't. And the referee today, Eddie Ward from Brisbane, but who, of course, has been officiating at the New South Wales Rugby League matches this year. And hotly tipped to uh, be a, a referee in the State of Origin Series as well. The referee Ward blows time on, and they're underway. At Lang Park, it'll be Sterling, who has first touch of the football, giving it away straight away to Eric Grove, who was in doubt up until the final training session for Parramatta. Is Sterling again, getting it away. Eddie Gregovich, now Peter Wynn, selected in the second row, but moving to front row with the withdrawal of Jeff Bugden. And that man, Peter Taylor, came into the side following that change. Sterling can't handle it, and referee Ward rules the knock on. Well, one against the feed, it's a good scrum win. Here's Ella. Caught by Lewis and put down right on the quarter line. Linda. Now they're about uh, 35 metres out. Taylor getting away to Garnon. had intermittent rain here today in Brisbane it has been raining for the past four or five days here's Sterling pressure on him Hancock can't control it has it now and he's put down 10 meters out from his own line Colin Scott Straight into the Parramatta defence. Away goes home. But again, the Parramatta defence. Three of the men are taken. Just on the Broncos quarter line. Dowling. Taylor was around his ankles. Lead leader over the top. Back for Lewis. Krenkovic is there for it. Ten metres from halfway. And in fact... Right on the halfway mark, or just over. Taylor, can't handle it. Knocked on again, said the referee. That's a sure sign of nerves, apprehension, if you like. It was played badly. Krenkovic uh, put some extra power on it, rolled the ball back too fast. Taylor lunged for it. It wasn't there where he intended it to be. Bad decision. Yeah, there are plenty of nerves out there today. Here's Lewis getting it from Langer. And Lewis has swapped upon four of them there to take him. Madison from Dummy Half, linking up with Miles. Eight metres inside the Parramatta Half. Kineski's Dummy Half, here's Langer, now Lewis. But again, they're charging in on Lewis and put him down on the halfway mark. Three of them that time, penalty's gone to Brisbane. Too slow to get off him. Yes, the State Bank replay shows that really they made a meal of that. He was down there in the front of his back, two of them hovering over him like avenging angels. The referee had to do it. So Lewis finds touch, 10 metres inside the Parramatta half. Kineski taking the tap, giving it away to Dowling. The Parramatta defence working as one. Now Madison. 25 metres out from the Parramatta line. Langer to Lewis. On to Miles. Can he get it away? Tried to offload it one hand. It couldn't do it. Ella's there to take it. Now Lewis back inside for Langer. And he's caught. That's the quarter line you see there. Lewis again. And away to G. Billy Noak it was. Last tackle now for Brisbane. Lewis, long ball for Langer. The kick through. Six tackles restarted. Touched by Parramatta. Langer is a dummy half. 
Away to Colin Scott. Five metres from the Parramatta line. That's where they are. That's where they're trying to get. Wanger in trouble. Kanescu. And the penalty's gone to uh, Brisbane. The referee ruling that they didn't have a marker standing in front of the tackle player. On that occasion, uh, it was Taylor, who was standing slightly to the side of Langer. Terry Madison. What a star he's been for the Broncos. Let's hope he's not a shooting star. <laughs> Flashes across the rugby scene and never seen again. We'll hope that's not his uh, form. 19 goals from 25 attempts this season for Terry Madison. Makes no mistake, and the Broncos hit the front. It's Brisbane 2 and Parramatta nothing. Mosley ahead and just trains for growth. Line deep, just about the entire Parramatta side. Sterling calling the shots, changes the play down the blind side. Looks for Krankovic. About four metres out now from the Broncos' goal line. Hizard, Taylor, Ella. Behind win. Goes out now for Garnon. Jackson. Midfield, just underneath the goal mouth. Peter Wynn. Again looking for support. This time he slips it. Sterling to Ella. It's not a very happy Peter Sterling. Good ball control, but Ward was right on the spot. A shake of the head from Steve Ella. A look on the face of Steve Ella there said it was a very line ball decision. Probably uh, just on the, uh, just forward. Fractionally, Ward's a very competent referee. That was what Parramatta was searching for, early points. Comescu. And to bring the ball about 12 metres out from the Broncos' line. They switch down the blind side for Note. Langer trying to find a gap down the middle of the rucks. Still standing, the little man. Billy, the breeze behind the eels. Very strong now, northeasterly at the moment, favouring Parramatta, and they'd be looking for a uh, quite a sizable lead at half time if they're going to be in this match. Well, a poor kicking game there from the Broncos. Lewis was harassed, and Kineskiu was the man that got it straight away to Lidna. Robinson, just on the quarter line. Plenty of pressure now for the Broncos as the Eels go wide through Krankovic. Jackson, Lee Reader. Back inside, it was a poor pass, but six more tackles, touched by Kineskiu. Taylor, Sterling. Good ball away to Izzard. He had support just on his right shoulder was Brett Garnon. Sterling. Back inside for Jackson. Still going. Try to Parramatta. Easy for Peter Sterling. The defence just failed to come across. A spectacular try scored by Parramatta. And you can see the way it comes here with uh, Mosley going to get away to Sterling. He runs wide and then flicks it back right-handed on the inside to Jackson. Now, Jackson's a noted speedster, particularly over a few metres. He covered the ground very well, but the way they hung off Sterling was a bit of an eye-opener. Look at him go here and run, not ever even tackled at any stage of the game. There's Jackson weaving his way towards the line. Highly spectacular try from head on. This will be a good one. Now, watch the way they hang off Sterling. Nobody touches him. The pass comes back inside. He evades several tackles. Used the referee there as a little bit of a shepherd, which he was legally entitled to do. Scored the try. And a good one to Brian Jackson. As Bill Anderson said, they need early points with the breeze at their backs. They're uh, certainly holding off Peter Sterling. Different case when Wally Lewis has the ball. Three and four tacklers going in on Lewis. But plenty of uh, room to move for Sterling. I noticed Langer, uh, Graham, Langer's run on two occasions. He's run on each occasion when Lee Beat has been standing in front of him. He realises that the big men are not as handy. There's the kick from Brett Garnon. And it's a good one too. So Parramatta, six. The Broncos, two. Well, a great
great start for Parramatta. Six points to two, they lead. That'll give them plenty of heart. Here's Eric Groth running straight through Kinescu. Sterling. Kregovic. Kinescu and Langer holding 32 metres out. Lee Beater. Can he get a ball away? Yes, he can. Taylor was there to take it. Line side comes Peter Wynn up over halfway. Now Sterling again. The kick through. He can pick this up, Sterling. Plenty of time to. He's got to pop the ball. Ella's got to pop from Jackson. Back inside. Ella can't handle it. But six tackles again. Tackle count restarts as Parramatta again. Apply more pressure. Here's Sterling with a long ball out for Brown. Brisbane crowd, not that. We're not seeing the uh, growth of old here. Previously on the State Bank replay, he would have made a beeline for coming infield away from the defence. On this occasion, he's not had enough of momentum up and his power has failed him and he's been pushed over the uh, sideline. Scrum went with the feed. Brisbane in possession with Joe Kilroy. 11 metres out from their own line, the Broncos. Hone, put down now, 15 metres out, G, caught by Ella, Peter Wynn underneath, right on the quarter line, back for Lewis, Krenkovic is there to pick this up, he's over halfway now, but Lewis following his kick through, pulls him down just inside the Brisbane half. He's Sterling, again with Ella, now to Garmin, Garmin beat one, but caught by a little Alan Langer. Mosley from dummy half, Kinescu puts him down, 10 metres inside the Broncos half. Izzard, made about 10. Sterling's knocked it on. Well, Peter Sterling not having a happy start with his handling, although he certainly was involved in that try. Yes, he was looking the other way, actually. I don't know that the ball was expected to go to him, but uh, that's the price you pay. Another scrum win against the feed. So Sterling comes away. He'll make up for that little error. Now Taylor is a dummy half. Here's Ella. Ella caught by Langer and Lewis. Lynn. Just inside the uh, Broncos quarter. Mosley to Sterling. And then back for Linda. Picked up nicely by Ella, the little kick ahead. Here's Robertson chasing the kick for Parramatta. Has he got it? No. Well, there was plenty on that, plenty of chase coming through. Ella uh, put the kick high in the air. It's gone fairly deep into the end goal area. And the bounce comes off the uh, man, the uh, Parramatta player. And we're very happy, John Noney, so far for the Eels. This time the kick. Growth with a bit of room to move. No from Miles, and then the bringing down. Mosley. Let's see how easy that yardage is this time for Parramatta. Frankovic. Well, there it is. The little fullback had no trouble in getting six and seven metres. Sterling, Lee Beater, on the fringe of the ruck. Again, it's Sterling. Ella, Garnon, right on the quarter line in the last tackle. What will Sterling do here? Just a little chip for the in goal. Scott's back there, fumbles, regathers. Will he make it out? He's just going to fall short, so that's good chasing from Parramatta. They really are putting the pressure on. State Bank replay shows Scott uh, temporarily mishandling the ball. Evades one tackle, but look at the tackle there of uh, young Taylor coming in. Number 27, the replacement second row. Beautiful. The Broncos taking their time bringing this ball back for the restart. 
plenty of possession for the Eels. But when you do have that possession, you must show points. Frankovic been heavily involved. Right on the quarter line. Mosley. Izzard. Again, that easy yardage. Win down the blind side. Pushes off Lewis. Still going. Everybody's hanging up him. Oh, that's how easy it is. The Broncos have gone to sleep. It's a stunned crowd at Lane Park. That was a very, very easy try. Indeed it was. There's Big Peter Wynn headgear. Evading the Wally Lewis tackle with the greatest of ease. Went between another two players and scores an outstanding solo try. Now watch Lewis come for him and gets a hand off right in the top of the head. He goes in between Kaneski there at number three, Johns, and forces the the, uh, the try by sheer power. There he goes again. It's a beautiful run. He doesn't like the front row, but uh, he's playing there today, and that's uh, the sort of answer he's got for them. This is the angle that he had to work with with his first kick. He's met that one well again. Well, he's certainly got the right boots on today. Brett Garner, two out of two, and it's power great first half so far 12 the Brisbane Broncos too now yeah, Madison restarts for the Broncos and uh, they're certainly a bit shell-shocked at the minute Brisbane not the commitment in defense that we've seen in previous games can they pick themselves up out of this now he's Sterling a short ball for Linda who's lost it picked up by Lewis here's a chance for the Broncos to spin the ball quickly from the area in which it's been dropped or lost by the opposition. Didn't waste a second, passed it immediately, and that's the result. A good try. Gene Miles. Big Gino. And uh, his skipper, who was certainly laying down the law behind the line after the last try, and a very... Uh, pleased Wayne Bennett. Well, he wouldn't be pleased he's still behind, but he'd certainly be a lot happier than he was a few minutes ago. Terry Madison, successful with his only shot at goal so far. He's five metres in from touch. And that's the angle that he has. So a great comeback from the Broncos. Simple handling error from Parramatta, resulting in that try. Now Madison taking plenty of time with this. Hits it, it's not going to swing around, that's why. So the score remains. Parramatta 12, Brisbane 6. Ella restarts proceedings at Lang Park. With his side, still six points in the lead. Colin Scott. Takes it up to the quarter line before Linda puts him down with Mosley. Now the try scorer, G. Miles. Three parameter defenders there for him. Kanescu. This is home. Only able to make two or three metres at a time as Kanescu now turns it back inside for Billy Noak. Here's Langer, and now Lewis, and then Miles. Quick hands on the Madison, and then quick hands on the Johns. Johns got it away to the winger Hancock. Hancock back inside. The G linking up with him is Langer. Here come the Broncos again. Langer still on his feet. Can't get it away this time. But they're only about 12 metres out. The crowd really urging the Broncos. Wallace Dowling gives it away to uh, uh, Nunk. 10 metres out. Kanescu to Langer, and then to Collins. 
picked up. Back inside for Lewis. Back for G and Dowling. But Dowling is hemmed in. Nowhere to go. Langer again to Lewis. Cutting out Miles. Here's it up to Hancock, but he's made a mess of it. So the knock on from uh, Hancock about uh, 25 metres out. And the scrum will go down as a result of that. The Broncos really starting to come alive now. They've woken up from that sleep of the first 20 minutes. Starting to spin this ball wide. Parramatta, thankfully, up with possession. Sterling. Just outside their own quarter line. Lidner. Mosley. Well, there's nobody coming. He has to go himself. And this will be against Keith uh, G for a trip, in fact. Yes, the uh, referee was adamant about that. Watch the, the leg go out. There it was. G was the man responsible. Langer. Kept that alive on the blind side. Six tackles to go. So many war. It's Hancock and he's out. Hancock's beaten him. Eric Groth is on the chase from there the ring. Will Groth get there? Hancock and Groth. Hancock will score. Back to the third time. Well, it's a comeback that crossed the house down. Scott looked to have lost that ball down the blind side. It'll be uh, good to see whether that one was knocked down by Palmer. Well, it looked to me as though it was a knock on quite definitely by Scott, but nonetheless, the referee went with it. Got the ball out to Michael Hancock. From that point on, it was academic whether Grove would meet him inside. Now, Grove at some stage did appear to. But the great thing about the run is, although he's let, uh, left his run a fraction late, is that we've seen Grove really stretched again. He's really put himself to the test and he can't stand up to it. Here's the, the pass received by Hancock on the left-hand touchline, carrying the ball in the correct arm so he can use his right hand as a pen. He has a glance back on the inside, sees the horrible sight of Grove coming at him and really puts in all the big ones and Grove just comes into the picture as he scores. So a great try. I suspect it came from a forward pass. He's met that well. He's just fading now at the death. Unsuccessful. So, Parramatta still with the lead, 12-10 over the Broncos. So, Sterling gets the feed, 10 metres out from the Broncos line, it's gone with the feed, here's Ella, and Garman looks for Krekovic, damage to him, got a pass away to Jackson, Jackson standing, still going, can't get it away, will play it only about uh, 18 metres out. Ella's gone the blind side, got support too from Robinson. Robinson held only uh, 10 metres out from the Broncos line. Sterling to Jackson. Good tackle on Jackson. <laughs> that was a uh, hone underneath. Sterling. Held by G. Five metres out. Now Peter Wynn. Offloading to Taylor. Taylor's in the clear. Can he go? Can he go on his own, Taylor? Not enough size and strength to get over. Last tackle, but he's only a couple of inches out. Sterling. Got support from Ella. On to Krikovic. And Krikovic scores another Parramatta try. And a first-class try it was, too, as we'll see on the State Bank replay. The very, very good hands there of Sterling. The pass given immediately and quickly. There it goes. Bang. Out to Ella. On to Krankovic and Krankovic in. There was nothing spectacular about it. Required quick hands. Watch them. There's Sterling's. There's uh, Ella. And there is uh, Krankovic performing their first grade function in a very good fashion. Sterling's pass was always going to create the try so long as he got it away before the tackler came in. He did. And Parramatta back with another four-pointer. Gets it just to the side, though. So the Parramatta side remains in front at 16 to 10. The high scoring continues in the Winfield Cup. 26 points so far in this first half. Parramatta, a vital try now inside the last five minutes before the break. Sterling back for growth. Bill, do you want to talk about this Broncos defence? 
Well, it hasn't had the same commitment that it's had in the last few weeks, has it? They've been uh, their defensive line's been very slow going up, and when it has gone up, it's uh, it's missed tackles, and that wouldn't be pleasing their coach Wayne Bennett. Uh, the player I've got my eye on at the moment is Wally Lewis, who's just in the back play cover defending, but he hasn't done a lot on his own in attack. Lewis, he's been off the ball, he's been uh, he's been directing play rather than running. But mark my words, he will have a go on his own before full time, and when he does, look out. I talk about directing play. Sterling's doing a great job of it in this first half. Now look at all these chases from Parramatta. Six and seven of them down there to wrap up Scott. And they've turned this Bronco forward pack around. Hancock. Again, plenty of defence there from Parramatta. Johns taking some work away from the forwards. Let's remember, they do have the breeze at their backs, Parramatta. Dowling trying to find the overlap for Miles. But just what Parramatta wanted, again the mistake from Brisbane and just outside their own quarter. It's probably just time to do something if they can organise it. Mistake being replayed shows a rather clumsy looking Gene Miles there, stumbling as he took the uh, tried to take that pass that went forward. Well against the feed, Brisbane just when they needed that too. Colin Scott into the clear, Scott. Again this Brisbane side on the counter attack. Just when you think that they're down, they come straight back at you. Lewis getting it started for Madison. Billy Noak. Parramatta with two minutes to hang on. Johns. Let's keep our eye on Lewis to see just how involved he is now. Langer. He's looking for Lewis. There he is on the inside. Quickly to G. Lewis was backing up, but he was tackled without the ball. Eddie Ward missed that. Bobby Lindner was the man that brought him down. Canescu, Langer, that ball was knocked down by Parramatta, six to go, right on the corner, the crowd staying to urge the Broncos on, Madison, nope, somebody's got to decide to go forward, Kilroy, Billy Noak again with Madison, Gene Miles, one-hander away to Canescu, Lewis, Marcone, Langer, good defence from Parramatta, they're in a bunch, the Broncos. They really have got to get something started here through this back line. Now they're set. Lewis. Missed out Gene Miles to pick up Scott. Now Johns has it. They've lost it. Sterling taking the tackle. 36 seconds to play out before halftime. Robinson. That was a real chance for the Broncos. They're in no hurry, Parramatta. Who to win? This has been a big first half for the Eels. We did mention again, though, that they have a strong breeze at their backs. Mosley. There it is. 16-10 at the break with the three tries coming to the Parramatta side. Jackson, Wynn and Krakovich, the try scorers. Goals, two to Garnham from three attempts. The tries to Brisbane. Miles and Hancock scored tries. Madison, one from three. Excitement really going to build up in this second half. We'll be back shortly. And welcome back to Lang Park. Stay being big game. Parramatta and Brisbane with Parramatta leading 16-10. to 10. We're about to get underway with the second half. One change in the Brisbane side, Billy Anderson. Mark Hone, the young prop forward, is off the field and he's been replaced by Brian Niebling wearing number 14. He'll certainly stiffen up their forward defence. And as another April shower comes our way, Sydney hasn't got the rain to itself. Let's see what the Broncos can do in this second half. Because they certainly haven't been uh, showing the same commitment in defence that we've seen in previous games. There are the top tacklers. Langer and Hone sharing the top tackles for Brisbane. Hone, of course, has been replaced. Parramatta, Lee Breeder and Mosley are leading the way. But uh, they're not sharing the tackles, Brisbane, because Dowling only made seven tackles in that first half. So they'll need a commitment from everybody. As Parramatta now in possession with Krinkovic. And the breeze has picked up a fair bit for the second half. So it, uh, it may assist 
the Wally Lewis kicking game even more. As is up. Takes it up and was put down about uh, well, 11 metres short of the halfway mark. And the lead leader is five metres short of halfway as Wynn is able to offload to Ella and then on to Linda. Inside pass for Garman who can't handle it. The lead leader's hobbling around in the background there. He's hurt his right leg. Uh, there's the State Bank reply of the flick pass that went astray. Gannon unable to handle it. Lee Beaters made the scrum, but I'll keep my eye on him, Billy Anderson. I think he might be in trouble. He's hobbling around like Ian Botham's elephant. <laughs> now, Colin Scott into the back line. Here's G. Caught by Taylor. And also uh, Linda in there as well. Billy Noak. On to Niebling. The Parramatta defence is good. That was Mosley. Here's Langer and Lewis and Miles. Short ball for Colin Scott. But uh, Lindner read that very well. Lewis again. Getting a good pass away to Madison. Madison inside the quarter line now. Last tackle for the Broncos. Dowling. Over to Lewis. Basketball over the top to Gene Miles. Miles got it back to Kilroy. Kilroy dancing and weaving almost there. Kilroy and caught about a metre short. And it's a handover very painfully for Parramatta. <laughs> Broncos starting off putting plenty of pressure on the uh, Parramatta side. Yeah, Lee Leader still hobbling. Now. Robertson will play it. Drinkovic just put short of the quarter line. Mosley caught by G. Last tackle for the Eels. Sterling. Scott is there for it. Scott beautifully caught by Taylor. Lovely tackle. Third tackle, that one of Taylor's, really good. Now the two wingers combining, Kilroy and Hancock. Kilroy from dummy half. Here's Langer. And Lewis. Back inside for G. But already Lewis showing that he's planning on running a little more in the second half. Here's Dowling. Can't offload as Taylor wrapped him up. Last tackle again for the Broncos. Lewis, Miles. Stopped by growth beautifully. Flung his body in front of the football and hung onto it. Now Linda. Sterling. Izzard. Leaving the tackler. Here comes Lee Weeder. He's very slow to his feet. Lee Weeder is in trouble. Sterling blindside. Got the way to Garner. Last tackle signal for Parramatta. But as anxious eyes are watching, uh, oh, terrible mistake from Sterling. I was about to say the anxious eyes from the Parramatta bench on Lee Weeder. Well, that was astonishing. Watch this. He goes to kick it and kicks it with his knee. Just dropped the ball. He was looking where he was going to kick it, and that was the end of the section. So Parramatta will very quickly have to make up their mind about Terry Leibeater. Plenty of possession now for Brisbane. They can't afford to carry somebody in this defensive line. Garnon is already down as well in back play. Lewis. Taking a lot more involvement now. Goes the short blind side with Billy Noak. Noak out for Kilroy, but he can't handle it. Bill Brett Garn is just in front of you in real trouble. Yes, he's coming from the field now. John Manny will have to move quickly and get a replacement on. They're down to 12 men now, the Eels. Well, 11 and a half with uh, Lee Beater in that uh, hobbling situation. 
So Bobby Lim is the man that will stand out of the pack and move to 5'8 with Ella out in the centers. Bonus for the Eels as they come up with possession. Tony Chalmers is the man that will come on as the replacement for Garnet. There he is moving straight to the field. Grafe. Standing flat really as he took that ball off Steve Heller. Peter Wynn. Well, Krakovich has knocked that forward. Wynn was well offside. It's a shame. There should have been better support for him. Yes, the State Bank replay shows Wynn getting the ball away. And there's Krakovich getting a real serve. Fairly high tackle too. But uh, the referee saw as him being offside in front of the player. Strictly speaking, he was right. There's a long conversation between Lewis and Terry Madison before they decided to go for goal. They were trying to keep the pressure on. That was the thought. But he does have that breeze at his back. There he is, the distance. One from three. There have been difficult kicks, though. Now can Madison just bridge this gap again by two points? Struck it well. That'll get there. That's a fine kick. So it's Brisbane now coming back again. Paramount is 16. The Broncos 12. Madison. Keith G. Bill Brisbane picking up the tempo in the second half. Yes, they are. The obvious tactics. They're trying to squeeze as much football into this 40 minutes with the breeze as they can. They slow things down when they're into the wind. Well, he was looking for support there. No, he had G, but he arrived just a fraction too late. Lewis again. There it is, that runner back on the inside. Miles sweating on the pass. The Broncos really starting to build for something. Madison. Langer. Lewis. Canescu. Billy Noke. Noke still going. Ten metres out. Strong defence from Wynn. Last tackle. Miles. Finds Langer. Yes, they You can sense, as we see the completion of the try, you can sense the Broncos building up to this one. And it was a beautiful try. It came from a long way further back than that. That was Gene Miles getting the pass away to Langer, and then he went. But uh, you can feel the build-up. Something was going to happen. It was the way they were they were looking, the way they were running. A very exciting try. And they lifted him up as if he was a small boy there. See this again. The way they lift lifting to his feet. Watch it, and watch the beat. Up he comes, and where he stops, nobody knows. 50% record for Terry Madison. The champ going up around Wayne Park for the Broncos. Ten metres short of halfway. 
Mosley got it away to Willa. And then to Chalmers. Chalmers over the halfway mark. Last tackle now for Parramatta. A Sterling. Sends Colin Scott into the in goal area. Can't get away though. Eric Groth puts him down. Groth playing in the centre. Hancock. Madison. Very dark here at Lang Park as Lewis again sends it downtown. Frankovich after it. But by the time he gets to it, he's about 12 metres from his own line. Can he beat the tackle? No, he can't. Jones and Lang are coming down and the crowd roars. Mark Robertson. Two points in it. The Broncos have their nose in front. Chalmers. Here's Lee Beater. Seems to be over that ankle problem. The St George Club in Sydney would be eating their hearts out seeing Chris Johns going round as he is. He's playing a completely different role. Very committed. Playing astonishingly good football for this club. And all last year and the year before with St George, he was just ordinary. Very ordinary. Last tackle signal now for Parramatta. As Sterling puts it out on the full. Dear, oh dear. Yes, the State Bank replay indicates a slight uh, weakening in the skills of uh, Sterling there, unable to find touch two or three feet over the sideline. Five minute change, Terry Lee leaders off. And Mark Clinton getting his first taste of first grade in number 37 goes on. And the penalty this time for Parramatta. They certainly have needed something, something like this. All the play going towards the Broncos in this second half so far. Crucial time now for Parramatta. Mosley. Clinton with his first touch. Sterling and Ella have been causing all the trouble close to the line. Again, Sterling linking up with his arm. Five metres out. It's the turn for Parramatta to hit back now. Again, Sterling. Short ball for Taylor. Lewis is there to read that one. Win. Looking for his second. Last tackle for Parramatta. Well, he's given him five minutes. Very important time of the match for Lewis to end up in the bin for five minutes. Well, the state back replay says it all. You'll see this uh, player deliberately, and, as he'll say in the rule book, probably having a smile about it, grab hold of the foot there and win, and the king has now been dethroned. He's been dethroned by Eddie Ward, the referee, for five minutes. That's a good goal. So we've got an even Stevens game here at Lane Park. 18 apiece, Brisbane Parramatta. Now Miles. Caught around the ankles by Jackson. Johns. Who's got it? Finally it's back there. Colin Scott as the rain starts to fall again. Dowling. We've got a football game that's all tied up. 18 all. And here come the Broncos. Up to the quarter line as Madison will play it. Is a field goal on perhaps? Lewis. Over the top for Johns. Lewis. The run around with Hancock. Moving out towards the centre of the field. Will they try a field goal? Langer. 
Well, he looked like he might. He's still dancing and weaving. The one grabber kick through. Lewis is there. Lewis scores on it. And it's a try. Suggested that Lewis may have been in front of the, of the kicker. Can we see it from an elevated shot? This will show us clearly. Now Langer weaves. Wally Lewis goes ahead. Well, it was a line ball. Wally's dribbled it. The ball somehow stayed in front of him, and he's been able to ground it in a most fortuitous try. And makes no mistake. Broncos are in front by six. 24 points to 18. Madison. Back inside for Langer. They're not finished yet. G. Frankovich. Good tackle from the fullback. Last tackle. They have the numbers if there's a quick play of the ball. Lewis screaming for the ball on the right. Goes back for the field goal. Charged down by Sterling. So the game's still alive. Parramatta will really have to force the issue now. Great. Chalmers. Wait up. Just taking the tackle. He's killing time. And in no rush to play it. Dowling. The crowd again just chanting the Broncos. Miles safely out of the dummy half position. Is it going to be five in a row for Brisbane? Last tackle. Lewis, shape for the field goal. Sent it out for Nope. He's looked the touch. And we'll find it right on the quarter line. Twenty-four eighteen. Time must just about be up. The scrum going down. Sterling with the feed. They've really got to run it from their own quarter. Ella looking for Krankovic. He's into the clear. Krankovic has growth on the inside. He didn't see him. There it is. That's it. It's over. So the Broncos will remain undefeated. A salute to the crowd from the skipper, Wally Lewis.